Hello, this is Dr. Rode from Mobilent. The maintenance method for the motor is the same for BBS 01, 02, and HD. In this video, we will disassemble and maintain the motor core. Detach the crank arm fixing bolt. The crank arm remover must be manually inserted. Separate the bolt and locking ring that secure the motor. Use a spanner wrench to separate the two locking rings. Next is the drive side. Detach the crank arm. Detach the chain ring. Now, separate the connector and the motor. First, remove the dirt and dust attached to the motor. Be careful when using parts cleaner or waterproof oil as they can dissolve the bearing grease. Clean the motor thoroughly with a paper towel. Detach all the pinion gear cover bolts. The pinion gear cover gasket is damaged. It is recommended to purchase several spare gaskets for storage. The larger pinion gear is made of a weaker material than the smaller pinion gear to protect it from damage due to high pressure. Clean the remaining grease by removing the metal pieces that are broken. It is recommended to clean with parts cleaner using a brush or paper towel. I temporarily pulled out the axle for cleaning, and there is no wear, and the grease and bearing condition are good. When you pull the plastic cover, the magnetic ring for the pedal assist sensor will break. Be careful. Be careful. Here are some precautions when removing the axle. Because of this, he ordered a new pedal assist sensor magnet disc. It's okay to hit it with a hammer. If you pull the plastic plate forcibly, the plastic magnet will break. You should only hold the axle and pull it out like this. Wipe off all the grease between the gaps using a brush. Clean the small pinion gear thoroughly with a cotton swab to prevent any metal pieces from remaining. Apply bearing grease to the thrust bearing and needle bearing positions. Reassemble the axle after applying grease. Apply bearing grease to the pinion gear ratchet. Rotate the ratchet in a clockwise direction while inserting it. Molybdenum grease is used for the pinion gear. Apply grease to the gear section without leaving any empty spaces. Seal the area around the small pinion gear with grease to prevent water from seeping in. Since a new gasket is not available, seal it with grease. The grease is waterproof. Insert the pinion cover by gently turning it left and right. Apply grease using a paper towel and parts cleaner. Tighten the bolts gradually in the order of their distance. The tightening torque should be around 3 newton meters.
Use an M4 wrench to detach the controller bolts. This motor has had its controller replaced once before. First, disconnect the pedal assist sensor connector. For the next motor controller phase connector, it is easier to repair by cutting. Leave the wires as long as possible. You should tear or cut the silicone around the controller hall sensor connector in a rectangular shape. Once you have removed or cut a certain amount of silicone, you need to press the connector lock to detach it. The controller is now detached. Loosen and detach the motor core cover bolts. For older motors, you should gently tap in the direction of opening. When opening the motor cover, push it in a way that the phase wires are not damaged and they come off easily. BBSHD motors are also known to have broken motor rotor helical gears. It's a fairly common symptom. Helical gears should originally be wrapped in cloth and secured with a vise. Let's also separate the coil since it has been burned. We'll try to remove the hall sensor as well. Simply pulling, it should detach the coil. The cover with the nylon gear won't open easily without a DC torque driver. And pull. Prepare three M4 bolts. Use snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring from the pinion gear. There are two methods to remove the nylon gear. One method is to use a small hex wrench to pull it up from below and separate the nylon gear. You can also do it this way. Ooh. There is also a snap ring inside the pinion gear, so remove it. Now the pinion gear can be separated. Use a paper towel to wipe off the grease. Prepare a weight removal tool for bearing separation. Since the helical gear is broken, replace the cover bearing. Bearing separation is not possible without this tool. I have prepared Mobile 28 Grease. This is new motor cover bearing. Apply grease and insert the bearing. Use a socket for hub wrench with the same outer diameter to install the new bearing.
install the new pinion gear. Reinstall the snap ring that was previously removed onto the pinion gear. Fit the nylon gear onto the pinion gear and secure it with the previously removed snap ring. Apply grease suitable for nylon gears, such as barbet grease or plastic compatible grease, evenly to the nylon gear. Set the electric driver torque to 25 steps and tighten the three bolts gradually. This is the new motor core. The connector cannot pass through even if the rubber ring is removed. Leave the phase wire as long as possible and only shorten the connector. The waterproof rubber ring can be reused, replaced, or omitted. Prepare a new motor core gasket. Now you just need to fit the motor core. When tightening the four bolts, do not tighten them from start to finish, but tighten the bolt at the farthest distance while rotating. Strip the outer sheath of the phase wire by about five millimeters. Cut the 8mm heat shrink tube slightly and slide it onto the wire. After joining the wires, solder them together. Now shrink the heat shrink tube to insulate the soldered area. Finally, solder and connect the remaining two phase wires in the same way. Connect the black pedal assist sensor connector. Lastly, connect the white hall sensor connector. Test if the motor is working properly. The throttle is working well. Excellent! Rotate the axle to test the pedal assist sensor. Great! It's working well! Seal with electrical silicone to prevent water or moisture from entering through wire or connector gaps. Now leave the cover open and let it dry for about a day. After the silicone has dried, tighten the controller cover bolts gradually. Motor repair is complete. I sincerely thank those who purchased the book, left comments, and watched until the end. This was Dr. Road from Mobility.